Oh, what's up, everybody? David Contreras, the actor selling homes with a beautiful view of Lookout Park here in uh, Watermark, which is a community within Daybreak, which is within South Jordan. So this park is amazing. My kids love it. As you can see, they have a slide, a little man-made beach, just a water feature. Amazing. So if you're a regular on my channel, you've seen this home right here by Parkwood Homes. I happen to be in a listing right now. That's 1.6 million, also Parkwood Homes. As you see, there's still a lot of construction going around. The water course, which is the hottest, newest feature inside of Daybreak. Uh, welcome to today's video, by the way, if I didn't already say so. So paddleboarding, kayaking, canoeing. I am standing in the little walkout deck here on the third level. Uh, it's a two-story home, uh, if you look at the records, but it's technically three uh, and I think we still have stairs to the upstairs. Yes, yeah, so, or actually, wait, no, never mind. So I have the primary suite right here. You have this little walkout deck. This is the view in the morning for you. So you'll have the sun rising from the east. You have beautiful views of the sunrise as well as beautiful views of the sunset. So that over there is the copper mine. We're in the southwest end of the Salt Lake Valley. You got trail systems going everywhere. So whether it's biking, going on a walk, stroller walk, whatever it is, this area is hot, hot, hot. So that is the sales, the model home right now. Again, you will find the video walkthrough of that floor plan. This one where I'm standing in is the Asheville by Parkwood Homes, which is a touch of the East Coast architecture and design into Salt Lake. Uh, Salt Lake City's Daybreak, which is one in six homes sold in the city of Utah is sold within Daybreak. So very hot, hot area. So you got the French doors. This is a look into the primary suite. This is basically what you see in the morning and then in the afternoon. Very aesthetically, very well made. You know, looks, or it looks, views <laughs> from outside of any type of these windows in front of me. Perfect for a king, a master king, king, king size bed. We have about nine foot ceilings. I believe that's nine foot or possibly 10 foot uh, of the primary suite. So here to my left, we have the walk-in closet, which I will say bravo because they added the window. I've always said there are windows that need to be, it's pivotal to have in certain areas of the home. One of them being the walk-in closet. It is carpeted, but you know, you know how I feel about carpeting. Uh, I guess after marking, you could just put hardwood floors all throughout the whole house. That'd be nice. So here is one other vantage point of the primary suite with the French doors overseeing your deck, your walkout deck. This right here could be a money shot right here. So to my left, there's the other walk-in closet. So there's a walk-in closet right here with the window. And then there's a secondary walk-in closet right here. So I guess this would be the his and hers, right? Directly behind me, we have tiled floor in the primary bathroom. We have the soaking tub right at the end, his and hers uh, sinks. And again, very nice, very simple. But again, I've always loved what Parkwood Homes has done with all the homes that they built here in Daybreak. Here's the toilet room. And again, like from the molding to the little touches and upgrades that you see, I've always enjoyed for the light for that shower. There you go. So Euro shower, little tall glass, fun backsplash that goes kind of throughout the whole, uh, around the, the soaking tub. And you still, again, you're in the water, you're soaking and you look out to the southeastern part of the Salt Lake Valley, a look at, uh, look at park and just sunny skies and beautiful mountains. Okay, so primary suite on the second level. Now we come out to the main portion of the house or the second floor. To my left, we have the laundry room, which again, important that it has windows to let that natural light coming in so you'll definitely get the sunsets from this laundry room so side by side wash and dryer you have cabinets a light color palette with black accents you have your sink and you got your views of cascade um well cascade watermark are two communities within daybreak so this one specifically is watermark so laundry room then next to that we have another bedroom i believe it was like five bedrooms five bathrooms Please read the video description just to make sure that I got my thoughts straight. This particular bedroom, and again, the whole house, I will note, is move-in ready. It's a 2024 build. Smells, smells new. Brand new build, ready to move in. 
If you decide to go with the preferred lender, I will put that right now. They do have an assistance or or uh, money that could go towards a two one rate buy down. Essentially, buy down the the rate. If you if you're not familiar with that terminology, buy down the rate for the first year, second year, and then when it comes back to the third year, it's back to whatever the rate is right now. So that is a huge advantage if you decide to go with their preferred lender. So this one has a pretty cool view of the Oker Mountains, which is this mountain range right here with the copper mine. Lots of natural light coming in. So 10 foot ceilings throughout the whole second floor, which is always a nice touch by Parkwood Homes. Again, primary suite right there. So we got two bedrooms already taken care of. We have a coat rack or coat closet right here. Okay, let's take care of this level first and then we'll move on. So bedroom number three, right here again 10 foot ceilings throughout the whole place you got your closet and this room also has a view of uh lookout park as well as the rest of the water course and the west side trench look at that view that's beautiful and again paddle boarding kayaking canoeing so bedroom number three bedroom number four right next to it same thing this one obviously the the organization is a little bit different plenty of natural light coming in closet and then the views views on views that over there is draper over there in the distance suncrest corner canyon and then you know sandy conwood heights holiday etc gorgeous views so this is the fourth bedroom all my hands are super really dirty wow so four bedrooms in this level these bedrooms will enjoy this bathroom right here so two sinks same color palette tiled floor and then you have your bathtub and toilet with, again, a window. By the way, if you have any questions, I have that house on my channel as well. Uh, that's another builder though, but it's it received a price reduction. And this door we have, what, linens? Just, oh wait, this is random. Interesting, so you have a storage. Interesting, here, direct access through the bathroom. That's interesting. This is the one for your towels and whatnot. Okay, so in summary, this level has the primary suite and three additional bedrooms, totaling four bedrooms. But yes, I, I was correct. So up here, we go to the, what is this? Technically the third level with views of Ochre Mountains. But check this out, my gosh. Parkwood Homes always hitting it out of the park. My goodness. So. Right above the second level primary suite and all those bedrooms, you have this landing, this little additional loft with amazing views from the walkout deck. But then right here, yes, you know, it is carpeted. I would get rid of the carpeting, but this could be a killer TV room, game room. It could even, even be another additional uh, bedroom. In my opinion, <laughs> I don't know about you, it does have a full bath. Again, 10 foot ceilings, every single level. You got the same color palette. You got your fun backsplash right there in the shower or in the bathtub, toilet with the necessary window. So how cool. And then behind this, I'm assuming mechanical. Yeah, mechanical. But check this out. How cool is this? Wow, wow. Oh, and it opens up all the way. How cool. Check it out. Talk about entertaining. You have your TV, your screen right there, your little sports bar, your little wet bar. And then you open this out to the elements. Awesome entertainment options right here overlooking Lookout Park, the southwest end of the Salt Lake Valley. And then you can see all the way to downtown Salt Lake City and then New Mill Creek and all that. Quick, you know, 45, maybe 50 minute uh, drive up the mountain to Park City. You can also have access to Little and Big Conwood Canyons, Snowbird, Alta, Ski Resorts. So many, so many cool things. Just a few, what is it? Maybe 20, 25 minute drive over point of the mountain it takes you to Silicon Slopes, Lehigh, the huge tech hub. So much fun. And then obviously as a resident of Daybreak, you get access, access to all their pools, parks, trail system. There's so many cool things. I was just at uh, Biscots, which by the way, it's just a few minutes down this road. The best, what is it? The Caprese sandwich that you'll eat anywhere in the area. Uh, little cafe, 
Um, there's one of the pools located right there. But again, you get access to everything that you could want that Daybreak has to offer. It's all about community. It's all about, you know, uh, a lifestyle. So whether it's the concert series, which is they already have the list going through the whole summer of different musicians and groups. Um, man, there's just so much stuff to, to look into. You know, Daybreak is so awesome when it, when it comes to the community and meeting your neighbors and etc. So as you can see, they're pretty much done, I think, with the water course. So over there, you can unload or load your little boat or kayak or paddleboard. As you can see, it has the waterway going all the way over there. You can imagine, visualize yourself going the water, going the paddleboards, kayaks, canoes. Such a fun area. Okay, so going back, let's go ahead and close this. So this is a huge selling point, this little loft. And again, move-in ready, listed currently at 1.6 million. If you decide to go with the preferred lender, it does have some incentives that'd be really, really fun because you can bring down that interest rate. Right now, I'm thinking it's somewhere a little bit north of seven, seven uh, percent. So bringing it down to five for the first year, six the second, and then back to seven. But by that time, you hope that you can refinance into something that's lower. So we already got a look of the second floor, the third floor. Let's go into the main. And I love everything that, that this build at Parkwood Homes does, like the attention detail, the quality, you know, of, of the banisters, of just the railing, it's awesome. The windows, the way that they finish the windows is beautiful. Now, here's the main living space. So you kind of have a couple of front doors. So technically the front door is this one right here. This is one's facing the, the main road. Lovely picket fence. The landscaping is beautiful. This technically is your front door, right? So your guests, I guess, would be coming through here. And I'll get you a, a, a few shots of the outside of the home. Here's your little picket fence, the rest of your neighbors, and then the little sitting area. This is technically your front door. However, as you come in, you could also debate that this could also be a front door. So here's the main living space. We have the dining right over there, the cool lighting fixture. You have the family room with the mantle, the fireplace. That could be a front door. That could be a front door if you wanted to. Here's a look at the gourmet kitchen. Cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. Well, how I love it. White with the contrast of the gray kind of coming off as blue. Storage right below the oversized island. You got your sink, stainless steel appliances. You have your double oven. Back there, you get a little walk-in uh, pantry with the microwave. And again, a continuation of the wood flooring, which is lovely. Oversized, again, everything is 10, actually this at this point we're at 11, 11 foot ceilings. Has a window for natural light coming in, more counter space. So like I said, 165, 165, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. And yeah, just a little under 5,000 square feet um, of fun, of daybreak, pure daybreak fun. So here's another vantage, vantage point of the kitchen. Again, dining right over there. Your living room, love the wood flooring. And check out, you got multiple French doors, so much window, so much lighting, you know, natural light coming in. And whether you wanna use this one or you wanna use this one, you have plenty of space to entertain outdoor. Check this out. My gosh, and it wraps around, so cool. And now obviously you can also bring your guests either through the front door or, you know, have them park right here and they can access this gate right here. There's a little sitting area, the, the stone, and just so much seating, so much seating options right here. You could have, I myself am a fan of rocking chairs, but check this out, how cool is this? So here's the side of the house, the AC units. Again, the fencing goes all the way around, but check out this sitting area, how cool is this? You're sitting here in the summer, you have your, your barbecue, your picnic. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a different shot. Here's the park. Let's get a cool vantage point. And again, it's how so close to Lookout Park, the little beach right there. So here's your house, the Asheville floor plan by Parkwood Homes. How beautiful is that? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now again, like I said, I showed you the the primary suite. You have your own walkout uh, deck, and then you can't see because of the roof line but you have that third level up there where you have a, an awesome, expansive view of the whole west side front, the Oakland Mountains, Lookout Park, and the rest of Daybreak. Okay.
Okay, and then obviously access to the trail system, whether you want to go on a bike ride. All right, let's go back into this house. Man, I would use this as the front door. How do you guess coming through this door? Okay. All right, so back into this 5,000 plus square foot mansion, East Coast mansion. Okay, so here's another vantage point. If you're curious about the main portion of the house, you have your beautiful kitchen. Imagine eating breakfast or eating dinner with this view, awesome. You already got a view of the back um, walk-in pantry. We have a powder room right behind the kitchen. Continuation of the 11 foot ceilings. Behind that we have, what is this? An office? What do you think? Hmm. There's a number of things that you could do with this. This could be formal dining. I don't know if you would do that, but maybe most likely an office right here but then again this is the front technically the front door so this could be i guess you could use it as a interesting yeah it gets an office a receiving area possibly dining i don't know but anyway so you have this space right here behind this door we have a closet okay so this is a bedroom never mind wait how is this a bedroom i guess i'm confused this could be a bedroom there's a closet right there but obviously it has no door. So you tell me what you think this room could be. Now here to my left, we have the mud room. We have a window for the mud room. We have doors leading to just more closet space and then access to the garage, the three car garage with it's obviously extended. So you have room for like a workbench. I love the addition of the windows to bring in more natural light to, you know, as exciting as a garage can be. Obviously it has its own entrance right there, which is the door I used to get in. So massive, massive clo um, closet, garage. Got your mud room and then walking into the main portion of the house. Whoo, that was a mouthful. Now we already got taking uh, the, the third level, second level main floor, and now we have access to the basement. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and finish the walkthrough because the basement is fully finished. Well, something I love, absolutely love from Parkwood Homes is that even their basements, although, you know, it is a basement that's so underground, you still get the feeling that you're on the main level because they have 10 up to 11 foot ceilings, which I think right here, they have 11 foot ceilings. So here's the finished basement. It is carpeted, unfortunately, but like I said, it's a basement window wells, but look at the size of this. It's 11 foot ceilings in a basement. Oh my gosh, I feel small and I'm 6'1". So game room, it could be, you know, a, a, a proper TV room, a, a cinema. And then, you know, you just have more windows right there. So massive area for entertainment. You got the, the full bath right here with the, the single sink, kind of the same thing as you saw upstairs. Here's a closet for your linens. Now we have, in front of me, we have another bedroom. Check it out, 11 foot ceilings and we're in a basement. So you have two sets of closets right here behind the French doors. You got just massive, massive bedroom. So, and then behind here we have just mechanical. I wonder what's behind this right here. Just closet space, storage space under the stairs. Okay, or just <laughs> awesome spots for playing hide and seek with my kids. Okay, so what is that? One bedroom? So this bedroom right here, bathroom for that bedroom, and then massive TV room. So anyway, if you have any questions regarding this listing, which is available right now for 1.65 in the heart of Daybreak, in one of the hottest, if not the hottest area within Daybreak, Watermark, as well as Cascade Village, this beauty, beauty I was going to say beauty, and then I decided to say beautiful, uh, listing by Parkwood Homes, like I said, it's a flair, it's a touch of East Coast architecture. Like, you know, even the, the details, you walk up the stairs, it's just beautifully made. Uh, let me know. They do have an incentive that would allow you to bring down that uh, interest rate for the first two years. 
my goodness, look at this view as you come into the main living space. Absolutely stunning. Again, let me know if you have any questions regarding this area, this real estate market. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and reach out to me uh, whenever you can through text, Instagram. Uh, drop a comment on this video or just go ahead and text me or email me. You'll see the information down in the description if there's anything that I might have missed or learned after the actual shooting of this video. Read the video description, just looking at the lighting pictures. That's pretty cool too. But other than that, goodbye from the heart of daybreak. Beautiful day. Let's make this your home. All right, peace.